Yo, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlie Mack, and today I'll be discussing a topic that many of you may or may not be able to relate to. How to survive in the hood. Now, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry, folks. I have five tips and tricks to help you out. But first, run that intro. But I ain't a rapper, though. You do no funny, my dude, it got jokes. Yeah. Okay, I understand that some of y'all, this might be like the scariest shit ever. Well, besides the coffee spot running out of your precious pumpkin spice latte. What? What the fuck? But I'm here to get you right, so let's get right into it. Tip one. First things first, let's talk about walking in the hood. Like, you never want to look like you're a, just a vulnerable target. So make sure you strut like you to star your very own music video. That's right. Channel your very own inner Beyonce and Sasha your way down the street. Walking with confidence? Well, that's the key. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Tip two. And if you live in the hood, another very, very important tip is to always make sure you have a sturdy door. Now, you don't want intruders breaking in uninvited. Are you fucking dumb? So if you're on the budget, forget about high-tech security systems, all them extra cameras, alarms, and all that. Just make sure your door looks like it's been through a Hulk smash and nobody will mess with you. I promise you that. Tip three. Now, while we're on the topic of being tough, let's talk about food. Now, that's my favorite. Well, duh. Now, it's important to always have some substance on hand in case of emergency. But forget about fancy protein bars and kale shakes and... All that other bullshit. People, the burrito is what I'm talking about. That's the ultimate weapon against any kind of danger. Not only will they fill you up, but they're also a great makeshift weapon in case things get a little hairy. Now, especially if it's one of those McDonald's breakfast burritos, them motherfuckers hard as a brick. I seen one take down a police helicopter one time. Damn! I ain't lying. Tip four. And speaking of weapons, it's always a good idea to learn some basic self-defense. And if you don't have the time or money to sign up for classes, don't worry. Like I said, I got you. Just put on some, some old ninja movie and practice in your living room. Now, I suggest uh, Enter the Dragon by Bruce Lee. Black Belt Hall of Fame, undisputed martial arts champion. And, and before you know it, you'll be taking down bad guys left to right. And tip five. Now, last but not least, make friends with your neighbors. Now, they say that safety comes in numbers, and in a bad neighborhood, this can be more true. So invite them over for a wild game of charades or, or some spades. If you don't know spades or dominoes, then you probably shouldn't even be in the hood in the first place. But anyway, not only will, will you feel more secure, but you'll also have some great company to hang out with. Bonus points if they're willing to help you hide a body. Come do it to me! And there you have it, folks. My survival guide for living in the hood. I hope that you found these tips of very health. Remember, always be confident, eat burritos, and ninja kick your way out of any danger. Stay safe. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. And this is Meg Pack and No Pack, baby. On God.